Oh my god! What is that? Wow! Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rena, and today we are creating this lovely character here. I was trying to go with a new vibe. I wanted to try making a K-pop star. No real reason, really. I just wanted to try something different. So if you want to figure out how to make your character look similar to this, well then stay tuned. First up with the face, uh, this is basically the standard face, that the default face that Vroid gives you. I just took off the nose highlight and eyebrows or any other ex like facial details they added. Then I went in with my own coloring, so then I changed the color to this one. Next up, I added some highlights and lowlights, so shadowing around the face, so you have the shadowing around the perimeter of the face and then around the eyes. Um, and then I added in the lips, the lips and the nose. The nose is the easiest to do, the lips are the harder ones to master. So if you want a detailed video of how to make a nose, I do have a video on that, but I think I've figured out how to make it better, so I might actually do a video on that later, and a video on how to do lips similar to this. But basically, in a nutshell, you want to create like the little lines on the outside of the mouth, so if I were to zoom in, take off this grid, you can see a little bit closer. You just have a M shape with little hooks at the end of the mouth and then just blur that in and then put your lip color. I think the hardest part about these is just to pick the coloring that would work best for your character as well as for the nose. It's pretty similar. You have a M shape again, just a larger um, center point and then how wide you want it. I just base it off of this shape here. So technically I had more surface area to work with based on the size of the nose. Yeah, if I look downwards, I could have brought it out a little bit wider, but I was trying to go for a K-pop star, so obviously they don't really have very wide noses. So, um, or at least they don't try to make themselves have wide noses. So yeah, I went with a smaller one and then just add a little bit of highlights. I like to mix a little bit of like realism with uh, anime style. So after we added those highlights to the face, I added, uh, what was this? Oh, yeah, the little lines in the lips. But that's what the face looks like in a nutshell. And then we added some shadowing for the hairline. This isn't really necessary. I was planning on doing something else with the hair, but I didn't. And then because I knew I was going to have some bangs, so after you created the hair, you want some shadowing for the hair, I added some actual shadows for the hair itself but that's optional that was just what I want to do so and that's that part the parameters for the nose is the most important part so if you did change parameters to the nose and you try to draw it it would look like this like what is this so try to stretch it out as much as you can this was okay but I wanted it a little bit bigger so I added 0.5 1.5 there you go. What is another thing that they usually have? Oh, the most important part about making this look like this is the eye structure. The eye structure is very important to get like an Asian kind of look. You need to have the eyes a bit smaller and um, longer in length. So if I were to go to my parameters here, uh, here are my parameters if you want to follow along for something that might be useful for you. If you like this eye shape, you can stop the video here and take a look at the parameters. But there, I didn't really change too much, I just changed the eye size and the X factor, the slant, the inner and outer slant, and uh, that's pretty much it. And then the irises, I just made them a little bit wider. Yeah, and then that's basically how I made the face of this character. And then obviously there's the facial structure. So most K-pop stars usually have a like um, more of that triangular shape. So that's easy to achieve in Vroid. Uh, just once again, go to the face here. Go play around with the jawline. Play around with the parameters. If you like this exactly, this is the parameters I use. I literally didn't really change that much. Stop the video and take a look at this section here, where I'll have it on the screen somewhere up here. Moving on to the hair, I literally just took one of the overall hairs, probably this one or something, 
for that one and then just change some features of it so I took the back yeah the back of that one hair which is this one and then I took the front uh, I like the way how this kind of swooped to the side but I didn't want it to be exactly that this also works too to be honest I think I might have taken this one and I just changed the hairs to move to the one side. I think it was that. I think I literally did that. Yep, it was that one. So then I just took the hairs, shifted them till it goes over to covers the one eye. I don't know, it just was the style preference that I wanted to go with. But yeah, you make hair very easily with the software. Um, and then just added some like little extra squiggly bits. They also have that in Vroid. For instance, you don't really don't have to do too much. You just take what they have to offer for you and then just manipulate it to whatever you like. That brought forth this lovely character that I will have on booth for sale if anyone wants it. Um, if you want to see another character like this, let me know in the comments below. That's pretty much all for today's video. If you want me to do a slower version of how to make the nose and lips, I probably will do it regardless if you ask me to do it or not, but be nice to know if people are actually interested. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Take care. Bye.